set up for the pogos, you're gonna put pressure into the feet and the ground first. Knees are soft. I want you to feel like you're lifting your toes, you're pulling your pinky toes away from the rest of the toes, and your weight is in your arches. Your weight's not in the heels, the knees are a little bit soft. As you do this, I want you to feel the ground and your feet interacting with each other. So you feel some stiffness forming in the lower legs. So you should feel some calf, you should feel the whole lower leg, some hamstrings, some glutes, maybe some abs because you're very tall in this position. That's the stiffness you want to do for the pogo part. And then you're going to let everything relax to catch yourself down in a split squat. So it's going to look like this. Pogo, pogo, into a split squat, but with balance. So again, pogo, pogo, exhale on the catch. Knees a little bit forward to load into that arch. And then reset. Pogo, pogo. The reason they want to do that for the pogos is we don't want it to be a slow up and down, a lot of knees bending. We want it to be stiff and very springy so that that part is very elastic. And then we let go of the elastic part to come down and catch in a split squat. From the front, pogo, pogo. You can exhale and catch, reset. You can also add a chop to this. So if you have a plate or a small med ball, like a five, 10 pound plate at most, you can go pogo, pogo, and then chop that plate to the outside of your hip. 